able to deliver your word to your people this morning. All this we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name, our Lord and Savior. And we all say, Amen. Uh, as we stand, I want us to sing this chorus that says, time is not on our side, but I want us to sing this chorus that says, I will make you fishers of men. You know, we are young people. Lakini hata wenye present worship hata wakiongoza aje wakiongoza aje we are still here doing just like this like this like this I want us to sing this chorus that says that I will make you fishers of men and if I touch the letter M somewhere for example I will may that is M I will make you fishers of men all men to do what to stand up and if I touch the letter F somewhere Fall off, female, F, you all do what? Stand up. Sawa, sawa. Tuko chonjo. Tuko chonjo. Bwana asifiwen. And we start. I will make... Nataka kuwana wala watu wakosha papa. You know, our boy child, tunasema tu boy child wakopa the nyuma. Boy child, kindly pull up your socks. Tunaenda, tunataka hata sisi mperekane na sisi. Bwana asifiwen. So when you are sitting down and you are a man, tutakuacha huko na si tutaenda. Sawa sawa. Tutakuwa na mother karua wengi sana. Sawa sawa. Bwana asifiwe. Haya to go. I will make you fishers of men, fishers of men, fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. If you follow me, if you follow me, I will make you our man. You are letting us down. Buona sifiwe. The other part is for next week. Buona sifiwe. Next week is our Mother's Union Sunday and I believe ule ambao atakuwa akiongoza tutamalizia hiyo. Sawa sawa ale reader. Buona sifiwe. My name is Eunice Jerry Wamuaura, and I love the Lord who is my personal Savior. By the grace of God, I'm the Diocese and Mother's Union Coordinator, and I don't take that for granted for sure. I know that it has taken the heart of God for me to be where I am. Bwana asifiwe. Nimezaliwa upande wa waruaka, na pia nimeoreka upande wa waruaka, and I thank God. I am married to one man known as Cyrus Mwaura Waboro, who is also a leader at our church. That is Holy Trinity to Rivers, and God has blessed us with two beautiful girls. That is blessing and joy. Bwana Asifiwe. That is all about me. Sijui kama nitaongea ya wamama hapa, ninaona wala watu wako hapa ni hithe rika, hithe iko pathe chini. Wacha nisiongea ya wamama, sawa? Wacha ni ya wamama niongea kikuyu service. Bwana asifiwe. But it is always good to know that the Mother's Union Department is one of the strongest department in our churches. Na sisemi kama is not a strong department. But wamefanya mambo mengi sana sana and especially at this year from the month of January to this, to this month for sure we have seen God working and doing great things in our lives. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I want to thank our, uh, our, our vicar who is not with us this morning for giving me this opportunity so that I may come and share the word of God. Uh, who are these people who are seated here? As I was asking myself, sasa hawa nitawambia nini na nikiangalia, sio yelika hitha imekoma vithe, you know, it is between 12 years to 18 years, 18 years to 30 years. That is why we said it is identity versus identity confusion. That is our adolescence. Those are people that ask so many questions. You know, they don't understand themselves. Wadha ambao wanajiuliza. Who am I? Mimi ni nani? Mzazi anakuongeresha. And you are telling your parent, Mom, you don't understand me. 
Because you are in a state of confusion. In psychology, we call that st stage identity versus identity confusion. And it is good. Lazima ukapitia pale. Ata sisi tulipitia pale. And now we are in another developmental stage in our lives. Where I am now, it is that time that I need, I need to do everything that I want to do in this life. Because if I don't do that, a time will come when I am 60 and above and I will be asking myself so many questions, a lot of regrets. I wish I did this. I wish Niri Soma. I wish Niri Fanya Hivi. Diposa hata kama mimi sasa ni mamamze, hata mimi niko kwa shule na kimbizana na watoto. Bwana asifiwe. Because I don't want to ask myself that question. I wish I knew. Sawa, sawa. The others that is from 18 years to 13 or 35 years. This is when we say it is intimacy versus isolation. And I know even majority of us, my girls here, I know they are there. Sasa ni yule wakati ambao mtu anataka mtu wakumpenda. Unaona ukikuja hapa kuongoza praise and worship. Wewe unangara kabisa. Because at least you, you, unataka mtu mmoja tu wakufanyia jicho hivi. Sawa, sawa. And it is good and it is very normal. Ukikosa mtu wakukufungia jicho, uko na kasoro. Buwana asifiwe. Eh, hey, uko na kasoro, ukikosa mtu wa kukuuliza kaswali kale kale, si unakajua? Sitaki kukataja kwa sababu ya watoto. Ujua wewe uko na nini? Uko na kasoro somewhere in life. So all these stages, our developmental stages start from zero to one. When our babies wako hapa, iyo ni, ni developmental stage. Wakifikisha one to three, wakifikisha three to six, mpaka wafikishe 60, that is the last one, 60, 65, mpaka siku hithe mungu wako watarudi no madhime. Sawa, sawa. That is where we are. Uh, our lesson today, taking, uh, making great impact on the work of God. Making great impact on the word of God. It was led to us concerning this woman known as Martha, all Dolcas. The Bible says very clearly, that mother was a disciple of, of, of Jesus Christ. She was not among the 12 disciples, but she was a disciple. And the Bible says that she, used, she lived at Joppa. And she was a very, very, very good person. Why was she a very good person? She, was, she had a lot of generosity in her. She used to help the needy. The widows, alikuwa na washonea masweta, alikuwa na wapatia mafasi. And the Bible says that one day she fell ill. And for sure, she did not make it. She passed on. Ama she died. In psychology, we love saying kukufa. Sio kufitiria as she went to be with the Lord. You died. Because when you die, that is final. Nothing else. Ukikufa, yada ambao ulikuwa nao hapa duniani like this woman known as mother, ndipo, ndipo sa tutakuwa tuki, tuki, tukiongea yako. Sawa, sawa. So here she is, and she dies. And the same women were, were crying. You know, they were so discouraged. They were asking themselves so many questions. Who will be helping us? So, so they take this body and keep it in an upper room. Wakayosha, wakaiweka mahali pale. They had a lot of faith. Wakatuma mtu mmoja, wakamuambia, go look for Peter. Peter alikuwa tu karibu at Lydia, Amarida. This is according to where you went to school. And so they went and came back with Peter. Na tumesomewa vizuri that when Peter came, he prayed for this woman and for sure she was resurrected. He came back to life. Where am I heading to this morning? We are in the year of practical ministry in the diocese of Mount Kenya South. And for sure, Martha prayed her all very well, very smart. Mnajua ile smart wale wako shule tunasema specific measurable simnaijua 
Yes, she was very smart. She used her resources very well. Pengine hakuwa ni mtu akawa na pesa. Pengine alikuwa mtu watu walikuwa wanamdharau. But here she is giving all her resources. Whatever she used to earn, alikuwa anarudishia anapatia wadhe wa mama ambao walikuwa widows and poor children. Nikisema we are in the year of practical ministry. And I know na ongelesha wale ambao hawajafika mahali ambao pengine you are earning something. But at least God has blessed you. One, na gift your life. Secondly, na gift ama talents, different talents. Do we make use of the talents that the Lord has given us? To this woman, she had this gift of generosity, compassionate. She was very merciful. Alikuwa nasikilia wale watu wengine huruma anawasaidia. Na sasa sisi tukiwa wanarika, yada yate Mungu ambao ametubariki nayo different talents. When God was calling Jeremiah in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1, you know Jeremiah was just a very young boy. And here he is telling God that I cannot go where you are sending me because I am too young. And we see God telling Jeremiah, Jeremiah, look here. I knew you even before I formed you in your mother's womb. What does this mean in our lives? That God knew all of us even before we were formed in our mother's womb. Unajua kale kabegu na kengine hao ni watu wamesoma. Alikuwa anajua zile vitu. Hata akiumbika kwa tumbo, alikuwa anajua Jeremia. My sister, my brother, this morning, God knew you and he created you for a purpose. For sure God created it, created all of us for a purpose. And I usually ask, Nisikungapi mbili za maana sana and I know you all know that. Kama mtu wako hapa duniani ya maana ni gani na gani, which and which? The day? Birth? Birth and death. Try again. Try again. Birth, yes. The other one? The day that you re-arise the reason wewe uzaliwe ilikuwa ya nini. Your purpose. That is the greatest day in a man's life. Sasa ukiaga dunia kama awa, uyu mama. Sinikulia tutaria. Na tutakuja na mchanga. Mother's Union Department, we are very good in that. We have this song that we come and we sing. Gaine go shoka na idene togo die. And you know when we go back in our home, si tunayenda kukura gedheri tukikura nyama na wea tumekueka kwa mchanga. Nimesema it is done. Fine, uh, death is final. Sawa, sawa. So the day that you realize where you were born, your purpose on this earth. Ni purpose gani? Kwa nini wewe uliumbwa? Kwa nini wewe uliumbwa? Ukiwa msichana, ukiwa kijana, kwa nini wewe uliumbwa? Kwa sababu kuna ile kazi. Tutabidha ni kufanya all the job that she used to do. Unaona all her resources, everything, everything. Yes, alibakisha ya food yake, ni ya mahitaji yake. But at least she was there being her brother's keeper. Let us, all of us, be our brother's keeper. Bwana asifiwe. We all have different talents. How do we make use of these talents? Wengine wako na talanta ya wibaji, but you are just seated there. For sure. Unakuja tu kwa chachu, unaenda ukisema, eh, wadikuwa anaimba vizuri, lakini hiyo chorus, ayy. And you are seated there and you have that gift. And you are not making use of it. In this service, we don't have a choir. And you know, choir in a fanya kanisa, you are vibrant in one way or the other. And you are seated there. 
Now for sure, you have a very good soprano. You have a very good alto. You have a very good tenor. You have a very good bass. I am a choir member in our church. Hata kama nina zurura this this dance yote when I'm in our church I am a choir member. At times I am in praise and worship. Bona asifiwe. Sio lazima ukue mahali popote but at least that gift that you have make use of it. That is where I am. Unaweza kuwa hata na pesa yako. Unajua kuna mtu ambao hana chakula, tafadhali msaidie hata kama niko bore. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I love this man known as Monlu. Nimesema this is according to where you went to school. Bwana asifiwe. And he once said the healthiest place in this world it is at the grave. Nikisema hivyo you will wonder and ask yourself how the wealthiest place is at the grave cemetery. Kwa kaburi. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu kuna watu wengi sana they have untapped potential. They didn't make use of their gifts. They didn't make use of their talents. Na wadiaga dunia wakazikwa na zile gifts zote. My sister, my brother this morning. May God help me, may God help you. What does this story teach us? Nataka kumalizia. This is an inspiration to all of us to endeavor to serve others by whatever talents God has blessed us with. That is point one. Point two, leave a legacy worth remembrance or remembering. Diposa wakati ukifika hata kama utafikisha 100 years and above, at least people will have something to talk. Ama ya kusema. Watu wakiwe wakisema, ati gai, afadhali ya liyaga dunia hui walikuwa sumbua. Unajua kuna maombolezi tunayenda na tunayendanga tumefurahi. Hey. Because at times hui mtu walikuwa sumbua kabisa. And that is the reason at times we say, kwa kare katabu ambao watu wanasoma, ni kayoroje. Hapo chini. At you have fought a good fight and you have finished a race. Na wea ulikuwa muizi. What is the meaning of that? Si afadhali ya ndikuwa vizuri sana, you have fought a good race, ya wizi, and at least umepata nini yako, blessing zako sasa. Pwana asifiwe. Pwana yesu asifiwe. Tufanya mambo ambo hata tukiaga dunia, hata siyo tuku waga dunia, Moving from this stage to the other stage. For those who are not married here, pengine hauta oleka hapa, maybe you will utakuwa married in another church. Hata pengine siyo SK church, but at least wala watu ambao wako hapa watakuwa kisema, I wish Mary was here. She was very good in praise and worship. Sawa, sawa. Alikuwa na tuongelesha, tukiwa wanarika na tuongelesha. Aha, teaching us about our morals, you know, our values. Because that is what is lacking in our young people. May God help us. May God have mercy unto each one of us. The other point is the Bible tells us in the book of James 2.26, faith without work or action is dead. Niposa, this woman known as Martha, adhikuwa anafanya kazi practically, idhikuwa inaonekana, sawa, sawa, idhikuwa inaonekana, lazima tufanya kazi practically. Aha, that action, unaifanya mpaka watu wanaona, when you are given responsibility in church, kindly make sure that that responsibility, unajua watu wengi wanapotea wakiwa pale tu katikati. Nimesikia awanani ya kiuliza, ulienda wapi sande hauku wa pale. Usienda ukijificha ficha kama umepewa kazi. Sindio, lakini sio yeye. Wachani kumuangalia ninyinyi. Mbwana asifiwe. Ninyinyi, ninaambia ninyinyi na mimi pia ninajiambia. 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Doing things practically to the end. Ati utasema, I have fought this fight and I have finished the race. Sawa, sawa. Namalizia sasa, sijui nitamalizia lini, what is the time? The other thing is that we all have a, 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 a role to pray in our lives to transform other people's life and also to work as a team. In this service, we need to work as a team. Tunaposoma hii story tunaona wale watu. Tunaona Martha alikuwa na kazi yake ya kufanya. Tunaona kuna wale watu ambao walitumwa waende kwa pita. Tunaona kuna wale wa mama waliosha yule mwili wakaiweka pale. Tunaona kila mtu ako busy, kila mtu ako busy. We need to be busy in this life. Let us eliminate negativity in our lives. Sawa sawa. Let us eliminate negativity in our lives. Let us work as a team. Together everyone achieves more. Sawa sawa. We eliminate negativity telling ourselves about negative things that I cannot make it in life, that I am not talented, that I am not worthy that, that I don't know what, I am not beautiful, you know. Unajua watu yangu wako na mambo mengi mengi. Just they take through counseling. Huyu mnasema kuanzia to around 18 years. Unaona unamwangalia hivi unashindwa guy nitasaidia aka kasana aje sasa. You know, and it is very normal. I usually tell young people it is very normal. Even as we passed where. Tulipitia tu pale na sasa tumeanza kuwa nini? Old. Sasa mimi nimekuwa mama ako na miaka yake. Sawa sawa. So kindly we eliminate all the negativity in our lives and tell ourselves Positive things that I am talented, I was created for a purpose, you know, I have all what it takes in this life, and so on, and so on, and so on. Yamwisho, there is power in prayers. Ata kama we are young people, tafadhali, tafadhali, in Jesus' name, our Lord and Savior. And we all say, Amen. May God bless you so, so, so much. We can do better than that. We appreciate her. Isn't that powerful? Isn't that wonderful? Do we send her with greetings? Yes. Tumekutuma na baraka na tumekutuma na salamu. Ukifika uko Holy Trinity, wasalimie from St. John's Mimto. I'm reminded that all the officials were Kayo wabaki after the service all the officials wakayo wabaki wenye walichaguliwa the previous sunday you ingine so wabaki by wambui i want to thank all of you for finding time to fellowship here st john's mwimto you are very very important turn to your neighbor and tell them you are very very important and as now we rise up, that we may finalize with a word of prayer. We want to thank you, Madam Eunice. We are blessed. Thank you already, Dad John. May the Lord bless you and all the team that has made this service a possibility, the IT team, and also the instrumentalists, the praise team, and you, ushers who are nasaulika sana. The ushers, mungu wabariki sana. Amen. Turn to your neighbor. Hold their hand. Just one neighbor. Na kama una neighbor ukuja kwangu. As we share the words of the grace, and now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with you now and forevermore. Amen. Have a wonderful week. Let us celebrate God. You have done me well. You have done me well, Jesus. You have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me. You have done me well. You have done.